Oh, this is actually um, an interesting question behind the scenes. I, I have a little bit of information as to what I'm talking about. And I'll, uh, let's see, Sepulros, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that, says, any Mike Awesome stories? And what I'm alluding to is that they were trying to do a uh, Dark Side of the Ring, but I don't know if it's happening, and Sabu was going to be part of it, but that's enough we'll say about that. Um, do you have any Mike Awesome stories? Uh, you got to tune in next week. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, you know, yeah, I was going to fight him the first time I met him. Uh, we, didn't, we had heat for the first tour in Japan. I didn't like him. He didn't like me. And what was that? How come you guys well, had heat? I, I don't know. The, the, when we first got to Japan, it was my first trip there, of course, and none of those guys knew who Sheik was because they were younger guys. So they'd go, like, who's this old man, little Grunt, with him? And then but after I wrestled, it was different. But before that, the first two days, you know, they go like, who the fuck are you guys? You know? <laughs> and Mike, you know, and Mike was voiced it out loud. And I go like, who the fuck are you, you fucking muscle head? And then uh, they had to pull us apart, now stepping between us. And then shortly after that, we became best friends. Um, maybe we save the story or you can, you, you tell me, I'll, I'll allude to it and you tell me how you want to react to it. But there was a particular story about uh, the Sheik asking for a particular request on his shoe um, that the boys that <laughs> yeah. the boys saw and do you want to you, you you could talk about it or you, you yeah, talk about next week yeah it's our first trip in Japan and we're driving from the bus to the hotel it's about a four hour drive it was long it wasn't in Tokyo we stayed we stayed somewhere else and uh, uh, he went into the bathroom and the bathrooms have a hole in the wall a hole in the ground where you don't sit on nothing, you kind of squat over and shit, <laughs> drop your shit two feet, and, you know, down to the toilet. And he splashed it, got some on his boot, and he come out of the bathroom in front of everybody. He goes, "I got shit on my boot." And I looked at, it, I go, "Yeah, you do." He goes, "Clean it." And I, and I looked at him. I, I said, "What?" But under my breath, like, "What?" And I, but I didn't disobey him. I was just shocked he said that. He goes, "Yeah, clean it." And so I didn't ask him again. I went to the bathroom, got some toilet paper, and wiped his boot. And everybody on the bus laughed at me. You know, and I go, I don't give a fuck. Like, he was, don't listen to them. They're, they're idiots. And I, and I didn't listen to him. I was a little bit ashamed, kind of. But I did what he wanted me to do, and I showed him my loyalty. And then later on that night, I wrestled, and uh, they stopped laughing. Gotcha. I think that's a pretty great Mike Awesome story, because he was on the bus. He was one of the uh, laugh guys laughing, right? Yeah. He was the biggest laughter. Of, he's the one that stood out the most. That's why I didn't like him so much. And Mike Awesome ended up in ECW because you brought him there, or no? I brought him in. Yeah, I brought him in. And, it was my personal choice, you know. And Ken, so was Van Dam. So was a lot of guys. I picked them up, hand, hand picked them myself. 